Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in ChatGPT, and in particular, we're using the new Dolly 3 integration. That's right, Dolly 3 has been integrated natively into ChatGPT, and I'm gonna show you how to create infographics, or anything for that matter, and then I'm gonna show you how to turn them into vector graphics, and we're gonna vectorize all of these images, or any image we want, for free this is crazy stuff let me show you what i'm talking about here i created in this one here i'm in dolly 3 let's start let's actually you know what i'm going to start from scratch so you can see how to do this so you can follow along with me okay so i just clicked on new chat first thing hover over the gpt4 here and you'll see dolly 3 at the bottom if you're a paid subscriber that said there are a few parts of the world that don't have access to the dolly 3 yet they're rolling it out bit by bit so if you don't have access just hang tight it should be there soon at least from what I've been told. Okay, now I'm going down here to the prompt and I'm just gonna copy in a prompt here. Again, making sure the check mark is beside Dolly 3. I've got create informative infographics on the topic of urban planning, showcasing smart cities, etc., etc. I'm doing this uh, in specifically because infographics are quite complicated and they've got a lot going on in them versus maybe simple icons. But keep in mind that this will work for icons, this will work for cartoon characters, anything you want. I'm gonna show you how to vectorize it. So here we go, it's gonna cook up some images, it's gonna take a few seconds, I'll come back when it's done, and then I'll show you the next steps. All right, so it is done here, and it's given us four examples, and they look pretty good here from, uh, <laughs> even though I don't have that great a vision anymore, but here we go, I'll click on them, and this looks pretty darn good. It's even got sort of okay wording, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna turn it into a vector graphic, and once it's vectorized, we can just go in and make changes on it. So here, this looks pretty good. Some green e-bikes. Uh, this one looks really, really good. Nice and green and friendly. Okay, so eco-friendly, and this one looks great too. So they're all fantastic. I don't even know which one to pick here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick, let's go with this one. This one has the most going on. So I'm gonna go ahead now. I'm gonna hover over here. I'm gonna click on that little download button or that little uh, down arrow with the sort of upside down bracket underneath it, I guess you might call it. I don't know. Either way, it's downloaded it here. So I'm just going to close out here. And you'll also notice that the also gives you a little description as to what is going on in each infographic. So this is the third one. And this one's here, green architectural principles, diagrams, etc. Awesome. Okay, so we downloaded it. Here it is. I'm going to now go into my download folder. Uh, and I'm just going to click on this little show and finder. If you are on a PC, you may want to show you may want to click on your Windows Explorer. Basically, you want to find out wherever you downloaded it. In this case, you'll see here it's downloaded. And if you look careful, it says .png, which means it is not vectorized. So it's not a vector graphic, not to worry. Now, you want to go to this website very specifically. I will have a link in the description below. It's called vectorizer.ai, and it is currently in beta, and it is free to use. So we're going to grab that image, this one here, the dot. PNG. I'm going to drag and drop it here. Now watch this. It's uploading it and now it's going to process it. It's going to take a few seconds. It's usually pretty quick, but this image has a ton of stuff going on in it. So I'm going to come back when it's done. It should take about 10 more seconds. Then I'll show you the final step. All right, here we go. So the left side is the original image. The right side is the vectorizer AI image. So I'm going to go up here and show you. So here we go. This is if I want to zoom in, we can look at the original. And if I want to zoom out and zoom in on the other one here, you can see here the vectorizer and the AI image. If I like it, I can just now go over here and click on download. And it has done a fantastic job. When I do that, you get a few options. The one I usually go with is .svg, which is scalable vector graphic. I don't mess with these uh, settings here, but you can if you know what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on download for the sake of brevity to keep this nice and short. And then presto, it's gonna download that. And now when I open it up, watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and open up or open up my download folder. And look at this. You'll see it says .svg. That means dot .scalable vector graphic. To test it, I'm gonna open up Illustrator. And then you'll see here that I've already got one opened up here and it works, but let's do another one just in case. Let's close this one here. And I'll just do the final test. So I'm gonna drag and drop that in and bang there we go once it opens you'll notice here that here we go when i hover over it you'll see all of those little blue dots and so forth the paths etc i click on the drop down under layers and it is scalable vector graphic with it looks like almost a thousand maybe five six hundred different paths and and things like that so there you go guys that is literally all there is to it go from dolly 3 to vector graphic in basically two clicks thanks for watching